Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and today I am going to tell you basically that how do we use the SpyCharm ID. So basically in, uh, like uh, in the last of my videos I, what I have just told, I have told that basically how you can download PyCharm plus Python, right? I have just told you that thing. Now today what I am going to tell you is that I am going to tell you that basically how to write code in Python, in this PyCharm, how to run that code and even if you just want to make any project. So basically how you can just name and like you can just store some images some audio files some videos in this uh, pie jump okay so how can you use that things while making your project you, uh, when you're just going to do that things in pie jump right so today i'm just going to tell you all of these things right so if i just want to make a file in python okay let's say i just want to make a folder right no a uh, project right okay so i would just click on this file now please note the steps very carefully right so i would just click on this file then i would just click on the new project now here a window appears now it is asking me to give a project name let's say i'm just going to give that same name which is present here that is python uh, python project for right and i have done that i have just click create it. here i would just click on this create fine now it is asking me some options that you want this in this window new window attach or cancel i just want this uh, in the attach basically attach means that i have many python projects in my this window so i just want to attach this python project also in my this window only i would just click on this attach fine now when i would just move down so here i would just see that basically somewhere i would be just getting my python project for so yeah just see that in the last this one this last one is our python project for i just got that python project for now now as soon as i just click on this the blue color appears and basically here is something written that is c users user python project and then python project first it is it is written here now what is this now basically this is my path that okay this is the path that this side your uh, like your project is saved in this folder this is the path and basically this is the folder in which your project Python project for is saved. So I would just go to see then users again, users and Python project and then Python project. Four. Now I would just follow the same thing. I would just go to my uh, folder and let just let me open that thing. Yeah. So here now what was it was? It was C. So my Windows C. I would just double click on my Windows C. I would go to my users. Then again I would go to the user. Now here what I would do? I would just search for the PyCharm project. So here it is PyCharm project. Now as soon as I clicked on this PyCharm project and this Python project for now. This is my file which I am just seeing here that basically I have created this file right now. And even you can just see the date modified. So the date modified is 2 12 21 12 40 pm so basically this is the date of like on that day which i'm making the videos right so it is showing me python project 4 so this is my python project wherever like it is saved in this folder now if i just want to insert any image in this folder now what i would do let's close this for a while let's go to our google chrome and here let's let's uh, let's find any image let's say i just want to find a uh, like store a image of a flower okay i would just write flower okay so it is asking me no internet okay just hold on for a second just let me connect it to internet and yeah so okay connect just hold on for a second guys that will just connect in a little while and yeah done now it is like uh, giving me that file okay so i have the images for the flower this side right i will just click on here and let's say i just want to download this one okay now what i would do i would just do the uh, right click right okay just let me close this thing here for a while i would just do right click and after doing the right click what i would do i would just do save image as okay save image as now when i would just do the save image as i would open that file that path which i have just opened where my python project 4 was saved right so let's say for me it was in windows c then users then user and then it was in where it was Python project and it was Python project 4. Now here I would just save my file. Okay, I would just name it as star image, right? And the JPEG is the format in which it is saving, saving so that's fine. I would do just enter. Now my file, my file, uh, my uh, like image has been saved. Now I would just again go to that PyCharm. And now let's see here that what happens basically. So this is my folder, right? Now what I would do, I would just... Um, open okay i will just click here and uh, what i would do just hold on for a second i would just click on this now what i need to do here is that i would just click on this file that is python project 4 right now else what i would do i would just click on this the blue color appears now i would just do right click after doing the right click one option comes that is new okay new and then after going for the new it is python 5 
and here I just need to uh, need to name my file. So let's say for me, I'm just going to give it as demo one, and I would just do end. Fine. So this one will be a, a window which will appear for you. Basically, uh, for you the black window will appear, but I have just changed some settings for my pie chart. So basically, for me, it is appearing in white color. Fine. So this is done. Now what else I need to do here is that now just have a look. I don't know like you are able to see this or not. So basically, try to watch this video on your laptop, right? So here what I have written Python project four. So after this Python project four, under this I have the file demo one dot py, and even I have one image that is star image dot jpg, and I just went double click on this. So basically this image appeared here. So this means that my image has successfully like saved in my Python project four folder. And now if I just want to use this image while making one any of my project, so I can't do that now. Okay, I can't do that. So basically, now it is not going to show me error. So what you can just conclude from here that basically, if you just want to use any audio file or if you just want to use any image or any GIF, so basically, what you do, you save that file uh, within inside that file wherever you are making your project. Let's say for me, Python project four. Inside this, I am making my project. So inside this file, inside this project only, I would save all of my images and all of my audio files, right? You can just have a look. Uh, I'm, I'm just telling the things once more that Python click on this Python project four, then right click and then new and then Python five. Now, if you just want to write a simple code in Python, what you will do, I just tell you that I just write A is equal to two, fine. And even I just write B is equal to four. And even if I just want to add up both of them, I would print a plus b now i just want to tell you that basically how this pycharm runs how we just run a program so what i would do i would just go to a blank space and i would just do right click after doing the right click i would just get an option run and your file name so for me it is demo one so it, i would just get an option that run demo one i would just click on that file now you can just see that i got my output and that output is six because here basically i have done a very simple addition that is two plus four and i got the output that is six right so basically this is the use of pycharm and this is how we use pycharm while for saving our images for saving the audio files so for basically running our programs right so this was the whole procedure for using the pycharm right so i hope I, you just got the point that basically how we use pycharm for writing the project for making the project and even for saving the uh, images and other files in your particular folder fine so this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye